Um, today, um, Osho State um, was in a total <laughs> um, shock uh, with the result of the governorship um, election, uh, the tribunal, uh, election tribunal uh, that gave its judgment today. And we declared that Governor uh, Adeleke um, is not the rightful winner of the Oyetola. Um, uh, Adeleke was not the rightful winner of the election, rather that it was Isiaka Oyetola of the APC that won the election. Uh, that in itself has generated a lot of discussion across board across Nigeria, and most people believe that that is going to be a game changer. That will form part of the first our, our first discussion this evening. And joining me um, on the program is uh, Adewa Ali Busai, who is the news editor of Silver Bear Television. You are very much welcome to the yeah, program. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you. Always have you on this it's program. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, we didn't see this coming, or did you? Well, uh, initially I was thinking about the fact that uh, there has been argument back and forth on whether Adeliki was eligible to contest in the first place mm -hmm. because we had a lot of insinuation about the certificates and that was why some people were pleading. That was form, it also formed part of pre-election matter. But I, I, a lot of I was of the view that uh, um, that might not have any fatal effect on his ambition. But today, uh, the tribunal shocked some of us because I never have to say it in the first place. I was of the opinion that um, Adeleke is a popular candidate in the Ocean State. I agree by the fact that um, the APC went into that contest with the divided, divided. house. You exactly. Know? So uh, you, your force is um, that of Alec Beshola. Exactly. And you know that oftentimes Alec Beshola has all hidden his ambition to make sure that you tell her fade the second time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's why we give credit to Beavers, even though I had a kind of reservation about the conduct of the election by Anne, mm -hmm. going by the judgment. Mm -hmm. It was established that there was overvoting in some areas. Mm -hmm. So, how come the INEC officers that were in charge mm -hmm. could not detect that? How come they allowed that kind of thing to go unchallenged at that level? Because when you have Beavers that is meant to checkmate all this, mm -hmm. And next thing went ahead to declare uh, Isaka, I mean, Ademola yeah, Adeleke okay. as the governor elect, and at the end of the day, he issued certificate of return to him. I begin to wonder what lies ahead as we approach the 2023 general election. But that is aside. Uh, it's like when you go into contest, there's going to be a winner, there's going to be a loser. Somebody will be crying as well, somebody will be jubilating. Mm -hmm. On the part of the PDP in the Russian states, or maybe the national have not really responded, mm -hmm. they are shocked about the judgment. But to the APC, <laughs> they hate <laughs> judiciary. And that is the, that is the problem that judiciary used to face in Nigeria. When it comes into your favor, you begin to aid judiciary as the last tool that the common man. man. But if it goes the other way, you. <laughs> you start blaming the judiciary that judiciary is corrupt. But now, it's a jubilation in the camp of the APC. The governor of Lagos State has also congratulated mm -hmm. him, praising the judiciary. Um, the speaker of the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. but I remember, has also congratulated him, praising the judiciary. Even and the he, governor of uh, Undo State, I saw his uh, yeah, <laughs> press statement as well. And, and the man also went to the town, mm -hmm. the motorcade, mm -hmm. and he was also uh, having the kind of uh, press conference on the fact that he won, is a good judgment, is a, a kudos to the judiciary that the mandate of the people has been re-established again. But anyway, uh, it's too early yeah. for them to be jubilating because the matter, we still have court of appeal, and I think even the Supreme Court is also there to adjudicate on the matter. Yeah, and yeah. that's why Adeleke said, okay, it is not over. He is going to appeal. It's not about it's over. And you know, the funniest part is that a few weeks ago, I had on this program the Chief Press Secretary of uh, or should, um, uh, former, or should, would I call him the governor now? <laughs> uh, uh, in the person of uh, Ismail on this program, and he was telling me categorically that Chris just watch it that the tribunal is going to announce. And he gives several reasons. Um, I'm still going to bring it back on this program. But when you look at the result, when you look at what uh, the tribunal had, during the, uh, the election was held on July 16th. On the 17th, 2022, the result was announced. And Ademola Adeleke scored 403,371 votes, while Isiaka Oyetola scored 
375,027 um, votes. But the tribunal, during its judgment, removed a land chalk of 113,105 votes That's from that of... That is a lot. That in itself can elect um, some governors in some states. So at the end of it, the final result came to Oyetola, uh, 314,921 votes, and um, uh, Adeleke, 290,266 votes. And I could ask three, over 100,000 votes. Then that brings to be, just like you mentioned, a, 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 my fear about the beaver. We thought that the beaver was going to be the game changer. So then what happened? And that, uh, that's the... I think that was the time we had a meeting. You were there. Yes, the yes, with the next chairman. Yeah. And he told mm -hmm. us that they are looking into that to make sure that it's foolproof. But a huge number of over 100,000 mm -hmm. with beavers, the almighty beavers that all of us have been applauding. Mm -hmm. it's, it's even good, it's coming now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an eye opener for us, for INEC, for all stakeholders to watch out. Imagine if this thing had happened at the presidential level and you need to now ask the poor, somebody that has already been sworn in to vacate mm -hmm. the kind of crisis that can emanate. And that's why you start having the judiciary delivering political judgments, mm -hmm. you know, looking beyond the, the, the justice system and seeing that how that can affect the policy, can affect the environment. Mm -hmm. So it's good we are having it now. And another thing I want to say that when, you, when, when we have any litigation, election litigation, we should endeavor, we should look into it and endeavor that the matter is concluded well before the governor or the president or any other Swally. president is sworn. Yes. I, 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 I thought that the electoral act was going to take, the yeah, newly amended would, electoral act was, was going to take care of that. that. Because we saw what happened in Kenya. You saw what happened in Kenya yeah. during the presidential election. Those issues were sorted out within weeks before the, uh, the president was sworn in. I'm looking and forward to the day we yes. have that. And look at the adverse effect that we have on our state. Mm -hmm. If at the end of the day, exactly. a, a Yetola go, go back to the office, mm -hmm. we have some policy that already be put in place. We yes. have some policy that already be reversed mm -hmm. by the dancing governor. Yes. So all this will have to move back. So it's like it's going to move the state back again. So we should look into that. Mm -hmm. And again, the annex should also look into how to tidy up, put it in act together, mm -hmm. so that we won't have a repeat of what we have. Mm -hmm. We're spending so much money on beavers. We have so many controversies before beavers is allowed. We have so many controversies before the electronic system is allowed. Because my understanding of this electronic transmission of results is that when the results have already been confirmed, mm -hmm. signed mm -hmm. by the agent, mm -hmm. it will be uploaded. Yeah. So who signed? That's exactly. I, I, I don't see myself as an agent of a particular pulling boot, I mean, or pulling unit or mm -hmm. what. And we look at the figures that does and not tally. And, and I'm still signing off on it. it. Sign off it. Now, with this, uh, quickly, with this uh, change the dynamics of uh, politics uh, going to the general election, is this uh, in any way favor um, uh, the ruling party APC in Osho State and in the general election, presidential, or what have you? Or do you think that PDP can still? No, have it's a, it's a game state? changer if it's mm. virtually. Or, yeah, because or we know it fully well that we know this. This um, is most likely that Adeleke will still remain office during the general election. Yeah, but when you yes. know our what, what politicians or their followers, they used mm -hmm. to be very calculative. Mm -hmm. Which one is likely to pay me more? Yeah, okay. And that's going to happen. You know, there's going to be alignment and realignment of forces. Mm -hmm. There are some people who were against so Oyetola you know, within the APC. Exactly. Now they have seen another light, mm -hmm. Imole Day, mm -hmm. which is likely to be in favor of Oyetola. You know, so we need to see people who are outside that camp before mm -hmm. trying to warm their way back into the camp. So. And you know Nigeria is a, is a country, our democracy is a country of winner takes all. Mm -hmm. and at the same time, there's one danger there. Mm -hmm. The danger now is, Ocean State is becoming another violent state. Exactly. Now, because of the fact that we now see the park management committee already mm -hmm. in place. There was even a protest today after the announcement. <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. We have the NRTW that have been converted to park management committee. Mm -hmm. And these people know that immediately, Adeleke leaves the office. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the end to their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. So we're going to likely to go to a situation whereby they will also fight tooth and nail to ensure that this never comes to pass. Mm -hmm. And that is a clarion call to our security agents that now is the time for them to move in and ensure that the people of Washington State are sleeping with their two eyes closed. Mm -hmm. so, thank you very much. Um, this conversation will continue. Uh, the news is just unfolding. We'll see how 
we've seen reaction from APC. I've not seen any press release from yeah, the PDP. Yeah, they are still studying. They are still But I've seen that of the uh, Governor uh, Adeleke. Uh, we'll continue this discussion in the days to come. It's so nice having you on the program. Thank uh, you so much. Thank it's you very much for being my guest this evening. When I come back, uh, we're going to have another discussion. Um, as we move towards the 2023 election, the issue of security is very key to this election. And a few, um, one or two, uh, some weeks back, I had a discussion with the chief spokesperson of the Nigerian police in the person of CP, Lumuyewa uh, Adejobi. We are going to play you that tape 